Hi, Bell Press. I'm Keith Patman. I'm a member of Wycliffe Bible Translators. I've been serving for about 42 years now as a Bible translator. Uh, my work focuses on languages of the Fr French-speaking parts of uh, Africa. And um, Bell Press has partnered with me in this work since somewhere around 2012 or 13. So thank you so much for being part of spreading God's word in the languages of Africa. So I was uh, brought up in a Christian home, but it was uh, when I was about 10 years old that it really sank in with me uh, one Sunday morning that when Jesus died on the cross, it wasn't just one of those stories uh, on the flannel graphs in Sunday school, but that he did that for me. He died uh, to redeem me from my sin. I never really uh, had a thought about being a Bible translator all through high school and college. Um, I majored in English, which turned out to be a good uh, background for me, but it was later after I was married and uh, teaching that the librarian at the school started slipping little uh, brochures about Wycliffe into our mailbox. At the same time, my wife, who was finishing her undergraduate degree at the local university, took a classical Greek course just because she needed to fill some hours and she really loved doing it, but she thought, well, what can you do with this? But one day her professor happened to mention that one of his former students was helping to translate the Bible into a previously unwritten language in Papua New Guinea. And that kind of turned the light on for her. She came home all excited and together we started praying about it. I've always had a love for language and I think God used that to, to call me into that field. One of the great privileges of helping people translate the Bible into their language is it makes you dive deep into scripture and look at scripture in ways that you never thought about it before. And I think you can't help but grow in your uh, walk with the Lord as you're doing that. And I think another great thing about it is you really have to depend totally on God. You're in a totally different culture, uh, trying to learn a language that has absolutely no relationship with your own language. Um, you become like a child learning all over again. And you just have to keep trusting God and keep laughing at yourself at the same time. They, these are often hidden people groups within a larger culture. If God's word is only coming to you in a foreign language, it, it always kind of puts the gospel at arm's length, uh, makes you feel maybe like an outsider. So it's really fundamental uh, in God's kingdom work of any kind in the world to be able to offer uh, people his word in the language that speaks to their heart. But we're all called to share the gospel, whether it's with neighbors around us uh, or whether it's going across the world. And I would really challenge people to do something that helps you to see things from another perspective. But most of all, I would uh, say, remember that people went to great sacrifice for us to have God's word in the language that speaks to our heart. And we have benefited greatly from it and we can trust God to use it in other cultures as well. So thank you for your support of this work. Thank you for your prayers and God bless you.